Intense Crew, what is going on, y'all? I hope it's all good in the neighborhood. Welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday, y'all. Weight Loss Wednesday. Uh, I'm uh, inviting you all to go with me on my weight loss journey. I'm going to be giving you progress updates and when I feel better, some exercises. And, you know, you, you guys can exercise along with me. Um, probably going to be doing some chair exercises. But Weight Loss Wednesday is to encourage me and also to encourage you that you can do it. You can get that weight off. You know, we can get that extra belly fat off. Um, flab off, you know, we can we can do our best, you know, don't let people tell you, you know, you can't get this off and you can't get that. Remember, you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. And thank y'all for coming on my journey. But first, let's pray. Father, we just thank you. We praise you, God. We worship you. We adore you, God. We thank you for everything you have done for us. And God, I thank you, God, for blessing me and my MTS crew in your son Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And we ask God to to help us through this journey because life life is a journey right so anything you do in life you know you have to go through to get to the end of the tunnel so that's what i'm doing i'm, I'm getting this weight off but i'm not doing it in a fast way you know i don't come down on anybody who who go to the weight loss clinics who do weight watchers who go to jenny craig who have weight loss surgery I'm not coming down on them at all because that's the way that they want to do it. That's the way that they chose to do it. So I'm just doing it my way. And I just wanted to, to do it, um, just a, a simple way, you know, just do it. And I know that, that I can do it and I can get through it. You know, if God take me to it, he's going to take me through it. Right. So, um, I'm going out to the uh, store today to pick up a couple of items. I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm going to pick up maybe some fruits and um, vegetables. Now, I want to talk to you guys about my uh, eating plan and then how I am eating. Okay, first, oh, let me tell you, I went to the um, to the doctor and I got weighed. So I have lost 14 more pounds since I think the last part of June. The last part of June, uh, the doctor said I lost 14 more pounds, and uh, that's a lot to me. Even if I lose 5 to 10 pounds a month, you know, that's fine with me as long as it's going down and it's not going up. You know, I'm not going to rush myself um, into losing this weight. Now, I'm supposed to have surgery on the 28th of October. I'm going to have to call that doctor and reschedule it because I feel that I'm not going to be ready on the on the 28th. I'm not afraid. You know, you hear people saying that knee surgery is painful, and, and I've heard several people say that, but I'm not afraid of that. I just don't want to go on under the knife with my health issues and having those blood clots that go to my lung. I just want to, you know, be at my healthiest that, that I can be before I have that surgery because any surgery to me you know when you're you know replacing a whole knee that's a major surgery so i just want i want to feel healthy and right now i don't feel that i'm where i need to be for as my health is concerned so i'm gonna have to call him and uh, uh he's a good doctor but i kind of feel like he you know like like he's rushing me a little because he suggested that i go ahead and have weight loss surgery i'm not you know i'm not doing that i don't want to have weight loss surgery then he suggested that i oh going to a nutrition is per fine i don't mind going to a nutritionist but i know Know what I need to do when you know what you know what you know that you need to do why spend money you know uh, uh, going here and going there you know just pray about it God will show you what you need to do for your body now some people probably need to go to a nutritionist you know I I worked in a, um, a hospital kitchen for years and uh, so I know about the different diets and you know a salt free soft mechanical soft and all them different diets so I know about diet so I'm not paying a pan anybody to tell me what to eat when I already know what to eat I'm not buying any pre packaged foods when I can, you know, cook my own foods to last, you know, a couple of days. So that's what, that's the, that's the journey that I decided to go on. I'm not going to let anybody rush me into anything, rush me into any surgery. So he's kind of anxious to, to get me to get this weight off really fast. And I don't want to get it off really fast. I don't want to go that route. I want to get it off, you know, uh, the healthy way. I want to get it out. Now, if it falls off fast or whatever, that's all well and good, but I'm not having any surgery because the doctor want me to have it so he can, you know, uh, uh, we can do this knee surgery in October. You know, we know sometimes it's all about the Benjamins, right? So, but I'm not going to let anybody rush me. So I'm going to call him today and let him know that I'm not going to be able to do it. And I am going to make an appointment to go see him because I'm going to uh, end up having to have um, those injections in my knees, you know, to kind of keep me going or whatever. So let's talk about my diet, what I eat. Y'all, I don't eat anything uh, uh, special. I know it was one young lady. Uh, she messaged me and uh, she asked me, that my phone ring, sorry. She asked me, you know, to uh, do some meals and sh to show her what I eat. I I eat normal food. Um, yesterday we cooked some uh, green beans. 
some black eyed peas, barbecue chicken, cornbread, and yellow rice. That's what I ate. I don't want to spend a lot of money going and get, um, uh, you know, a lot of different foods and, and things. You know, I, I just don't want to do that because it's, it's more than me to eat. Now, in the morning, what I eat, my choice is, is a smoothie or fruit. And uh, I'll have a, a big bowl of fruit. I hate watermelon. It's going out of season. It's going out of season. But um, I will have maybe some watermelon, some cherries, some strawberries, some blueberries, some blackberries. I try to get the berries in. So in the morning time, I'll have a big bowl of fruit as much as I want. Now, I don't just glut myself over that. I just have a, a bowl of fruit. And um, for lunchtime, you know, I'll have a smoothie. I'll drink a green smoothie. And for dinner, I have whatever I'm cooking for the family. That's exactly what I have for um for my dinner now like we had um, um uh, the cornbread yeah I had me a piece of cornbread but what I do uh I, I have a plate that I eat out of let me show you my plate y'all okay y'all I uh, ran to the kitchen to get my plate this is the plate that I have two plates I eat out of this plate and this has a, a lip on it and I what I do is I don't fill my plate up to come over this lip only a saucer size, a little over a saucer size, and I had like green beans, black eyed peas, a uh, chicken leg or a thigh, a sliver of cornbread. So what I did, I've never been the type of person to eat a whole lot anyway. I don't eat as much as anybody in my family. I eat a very small amount, but I'm the type of person, if I eat something sweet, it's going to the hips and thighs. You know, it, it, it's going there. So now I have learned to watch, to watch my portions. So what I do, I eat small, smaller portions. I don't, I do not eat any sweets. I try not to eat, well, I ate the cornbread, but like, um, white bread or, or, or something like that, you know, I don't eat, but I do eat um, wheat bread. And then they have a, a bread in the store here called Kroger's, and um, it's a full grain bread. It costs about $6 a loaf, but it's a full grain bread, and it's really good. So if I want something, and maybe I want some um, um, a sandwich or something, I'll make that sandwich, and I'll cut it in half. And, and most of the times, I don't even want to eat the whole sandwich. I'll eat half. So I really believe that when you start eating right and start uh, cutting your portions in half, I really believe that your stomach strength shrinks. So, and I eat out of this plate. Can y'all see that? It say blessed. And I eat sometimes out of this plate. So these are the two plates that, that I eat out of. And uh, whenever um I make my plate, I'll uh, take a picture and I'll show you my, um, my uh, portions. And this is my best friend. This is my best friend, water. Now, I was buying, I have that big cup of water that really keeps your water cold. And I found out that if you drink a lot, if you drink ice water first in the morning, it will slow your metabolism down. So I don't want to do that. You know, with me already having a compromised immune system, I don't want to slow anything down. And, and when you speed it up, that helps you to lose weight. So I drink, I have one of these. This is an eight ounce water. I have one of these on my nightstand. So what I do in the morning uh, when I sit up in the bed, I'll go ahead and drink this eight ounces of water. Now, I've been having a problem with drinking a lot of water. So that's what um, uh, I'm doing, drinking more water. So I um, we usually buy the the um, 16 ounce waters, you know, for everybody else. But I know that what I do with that, if I'm not pouring it in my cup, I'll drink half of it and sit it down. So I, one day I saw waters all over the house. I'm like, nah, we can't waste water like that. So what I do is I go ahead and just uh, drink these and I just go ahead and knock it down. I just go ahead and uh, knock this down and then I go on to the next one. I will sit about six to eight of these out on the counter and when i every time i go by i'm going to the kitchen or whatever go by the kitchen i'll have them on the counter and i'll go ahead and just drink one i just sip it then but usually i just drink the whole one and if i'm going out and um uh, i would use my cup i have a cup that keeps water and ice cold for almost two days i mean you have your ice for about two days seems like so i would fill that up with water and i would keep it in the car if i'm going to be out all day and i'll sip off of that now sometimes i do um, um you know the body has a fever like I have been feeling well, so I've had a fever, so I would drink, you know, cold water or cold juice with ice on it. I crave that sometimes, but for the most part, I drink this, and uh, um, Google drinking uh, ice water all the time, you know, it just slows you down, so we want to be boosted up, right, so this is what, um, this is what I do, and if I want something sweet, I haven't been craving anything sweet. I, you know, if, if it's a sliver of this or a sliver of that, I'll have it, just a sliver of it. I'm not going to deprive myself 
I mean, I'm trying to be real. For it's losing this weight, I'm not going to deprive myself. I'm not going to uh, uh, eat rabbit food all the time. Um, sometimes I don't want a salad in a day. You know, sometimes I may want to, you know, want a sandwich. You know, I mean, I just eat whatever. Now, I do crave vegetables, collard greens, uh, okra. Um, I love uh, uh, pinto beans, black eyed peas, all the beans I love. I love all the beans, uh, uh, cabbage, uh, squash, stuff like that. That's what I crave. I crave a lot of um, uh, uh, healthy vegetables, you know, a, a lot of vegetables I don't like, like carrots or whatever, but what I'll do, I'll incorporate carrots like in my soup and I'll, um, I'll shred them up, incorporate it in my cabbage. And um, I like um, I like cucumbers and I've been craving tomatoes. Now with tomatoes, what I have to watch out for, tomato have something in there that would really aggravate, it really aggravates um, arthritis. So I have to really be careful with that. But sometimes I want to slice a tomato and maybe put a couple of cucumbers and put a little sea salt and black pepper and a little Italian dressing and I will just eat that for my uh you know for my lunch or for my snack but no I'm not just preparing meals for me separate from the family but I am going to do some food prep I bought a lot of food prep dishes and uh, with the top on them I don't know where we got those from but I've been having for a long time I think I have about 12 so what I am going to do some food prep so when I do that I'll show you because sometimes you just really really get tired of um cooking you get tired of cooking. So, you know, my husband said that he'll be on board with eating, you know, the food prep. So one day I might just cook a massive amount of food and just put it in these uh, containers with the, I got them from Walmart and they were on sale and, and put the top on them and just keep them in the refrigerator. So when we get ready to eat, we can go ahead and look in the refrigerator and just uh, put it in, you know, stick it in the microwave and we're all ready to go. So I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to do that. But yeah, I'm, I'm still going to be doing y'all my baking is coming up the holidays and, and I want to, you know, do my baking. I'm going to uh, do cook whatever, you know, I'm going to cook some oxtails and, and uh, 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 neck bones. I'm going to cook. I mean, Cause my family eat that, and you know what? I'm not gonna lie. If I cook some um uh, neck bones, or if I cook some oxtail, uh huh, I'm gonna have some. So no, I'm not. I'm not a vegetarian, but I do eat, you know, a lot of vegetables, and I can go without eating meat for, you know, uh, until I get ready to eat. So you know, I uh, last year we went on the year before last we went on um. Uh, Dr. Sabi's uh, plan and uh, we, you know, we ate vegetables and, you know, nothing but vegetables and we did lose uh, uh, um, a good amount and uh, I think I, I put a picture, I put a picture for you and uh, to show you how much we lost, we lost a lot of weight, but then you know what happened happened and we were cooking and everything and so we gained the weight back but i lost the weight really fast and so i'm not really um uh, anxious to lose the weight real fast just you know as long as it come off and, and and i get healthy you know so i can get off you know like some blood pressure medicines and just start feeling good about me and how i look in my clothes now i i don't look too bad in my clothes but since i've gained weight and lost weight a uh, several times i have a pooch a pouch a stomach i don't know what they call it now <laughs> But it's a stubborn. And, uh, you know, I've never had that even from having, I had uh, three children. After all three of my children were born, I never, ever had a stomach. People used to be so amazed how flat my stomach was every time I had a child. I don't even know how it is to have a big bloated stomach after you have a baby. So I was blessed for that concern. So now I'm going to wait till I get this old and get a stomach. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about it, honey. I'm just going to do what it do, make it do what it do, right? So we're going to, I'm going to take y'all to the store and I'm going to pick up a couple of things, but I appreciate y'all. So this is, uh, these are some of the things that I'm doing to aid my weight loss. I just feel like that you should just cut your food in half. If you eat three pieces of chicken when you sit down, just eat one. Now, one thing that I do stay away from, that's fried foods. That's fried foods. I tried to eat um, some wings um, about a week ago. I couldn't eat but two of them. Now, I love, we have an air fryer. I love my air fryer. So if I have a taste for some fried chicken wings, I just, you know, just put them in my air fryer. They taste just as good. So if you don't have an air fryer, y'all need to get one because you can put your fish, anything like that in that, in that air fryer. And if you have one, you know what I'm talking about. And it tastes just as good or better than fried without all that grease. You don't use any grease in the air fryer. It's cooked with air. So, you know, um, that's what you know we've been doing so when i want chicken chicken wings i just make them and put them in the air fryer but i had some uh i shared some with my husband from us from a, um we got some chinese food 
no, my stomach said no because I hadn't been eating any any uh, fried foods or anything like that. Every now and then, I do like a uh, Kroger fish, and I'm not going to tell you all that I'm not going to have a piece of Kroger fish. So if I have a taste for, you know, like a, that's my favorite fish, I am going to have me a piece of fried uh, Kroger fish. To me, anything you do, you do it within moderation. You don't have to, you know, spend a whole lot of money going and buy this and buy that and all this special diet food. No, eat what you have because food, as you know, is going up, right? It's very expensive. So I can't afford to buy me something and then everybody else something. No, we're gonna, I'm going to buy, I'm going to cook and we're going to eat and I'm going to lose this weight. So it is what it is, y'all. It is what it is. So, y'all, you know, tell me some of the things that, that you're eating, you know, to, to aid you in your weight loss. Some of the things that you're doing to aid you in your weight loss. But to me, that's the key. That's the key. That um that water. So, this morning, I had a banana. That's all I wanted. I, I, I don't have a big overwhelming appetite anymore. So, I had a banana. Uh, I haven't had any lunch I'm not hungry because you know bananas are filling. So with drinking up water and eating a banana. So tonight we'll probably have um some leftovers. I'm gonna eat my portion. And for um a snack, I love grapes and cherries. Cherries are gone too, but I love grapes, so I'll just have me some. Uh, um, some grapes or you know some kind of fruit for my snack and then um um sometime we'll have like um the, a peanut butter and you know the Ritz crackers we'll take the Ritz crackers and and spread us some peanut butter on about six of them and that's what me and my husband will have for our um for our snack so that's how I'm eating uh I'm not eating anything special I'm not buying anything um a uh, special or anything like that I'm just working with what I got I'm working with what I have you know uh, uh what really helps me sometimes is a big pot of soup Y'all, please look at my, my past video on the cabbage burning soup, fat burning soup. That thing is something else, honey. The first uh, a couple of days with eating that soup, it's going to clean you out. It's almost like you have taken a laxative. Trust me, yes, it is. So uh, 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 follow my recipe, y'all, on that um, uh, fat burning soup. And uh, we usually do that. But the only thing with that, it'll last about maybe four days, five days. But when it starts getting too Oh, I don't want to eat it because of the cabbage, you know. So uh, when I first make it the first two days, I gorge myself off of it. I eat a lot of it. It's healthy for you. So try look at my recipe on fat, uh, cabbage um, fat burning soup. That is good. So it's, you know, it's in the recipes. I post it up there so you can see it. So y'all enjoy the journey. Continue to lose weight. You can do it. You can do it without a whole lot of expense, without buying a whole lot of different foods. You can just eat what your family eat. Just cut that portion down. I have um, gone from 300 and I keep forgetting what 325, 45, I forgot pounds to in my going down in my my 200 pounds. So I thank God for that. I thank God for that. And uh, the thing is, you got to have well made a mind. If that mind not made up. You ain't going to do it because I've been there, honey, and I've done that. You have to have a well-made up mind. And so I have a well-made up mind to go ahead and lose this weight. My goal is 100 pounds. That's my goal. Anything I lose, I'm happy about it. But I'm going to continue. And I just don't want to lose it and then eat myself back up to 300 pounds. I don't want to do that. I want to lose and I want to maintain. Just the thing is to maintain. Now, it's time for me to start getting ready to start doing some exercises. I haven't been feeling well the last week or two, two weeks. So, you know, I just don't have the energy and I'm still not feeling my best. So um, I just don't have the, the uh, energy to really exercise. But I try to like walk up and down the hall or or do my bed exercises. I, you know, I try to do that. And today we're getting out going to the grocery store. So I'll see y'all. I'm going to take y'all with me to the grocery store. But be good to yourself. And if you be good to yourself, you have no other choice. But to be good to others, you got to be good to others. Take this hand, put it on this shoulder, pat yourself on the back. And you got to know that you are worthy. You are the apple of God's eye. Every hair on your head has already been numbered. He knows who you are, where you are, where you're going, where you're being, boo. He knows you. He knows you from your mother's womb. He's got your digits. And you know what? Y'all, let your haters 
be a motivator. I want y'all to be motivated. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. Don't let anybody hinder you. Don't let, if you on your weight loss journey and you have people offering you cakes and offering you slices of pies or whatever, you know, you can resist that. The Bible says resist the devil and he will flee from you. Not calling that person the devil, but if he, if they are offering you something and they see the journey that you own, you got to resist that. You got to resist that. So, um, let's get to the grocery store and, uh, we'll talk later and, be encouraged. Be encouraged because Mama T is encouraged. I am encouraged to go on in Jesus' name. Okay, y'all. Be encouraged. Okay, y'all. We're at Aldi's. Let's go in and see what kind of deals they have. They usually have pretty good deals on their vegetables and, and fruits. But mainly, I want to get some fruits. Okay, y'all. They have these mandarin oranges. For $2.99. I think I'll pick up these. Strawberries. Um, well, let's look at one that's not picked over. I'll get this one. Strawberries. Yeah. They're kind of expensive, but in the summer, you were getting them for like um, $2. I'm a dollar or something. This time, I'm just looking for some grapes. And those are a dollar twenty nine. And uh, the red grapes are a dollar twenty nine a pound. So we getting the red grapes and the green, green grapes. I always like to pick from the bag. Go to the bag. Get them. Let's see. Green onions are 59 cents. So, yeah. Green onions. I love those and stir fry. Y'all, it's pumpkin season. But I'm going to get some bananas. The bananas are 49 cents a pound. So, usually I get portobello mushrooms, but these white mushrooms are on sale. So, I'll get one of those. And, um, I use spinach for my salad. Who like um, cauliflower? Cauliflower is good. I have some cauliflower in my freezer, the cauliflower rice. I'm going to show you how I prepare that. They still have a few pieces in season, and these are $2.99. I'm going to go ahead and get a bag of peaches. I love peaches. Sweet potatoes are, let me see, $2.49. We don't really get a lot of them in there, but we'll get a bag of sweet potatoes. We need to uh, pick up some onion. I love the purple onion, and it's on sale. So, they don't sell for 149 bag. So, let's get a bag with purple onion. I'm going to get a cabbage. We don't. My son is, is there and he don't eat cabbage like that. So we always have cabbage left over unless I'm doing the cabbage soup. So we'll get a small cabbage. And I always take the, sometimes I'll cook the green. He's getting a bag. I have the colored bell pepper, the soy in, so I just need some green bell pepper. I'll get these. I love these. Um, these vine ripe tomatoes. I love these. So let's get a bag of them. Okay, they are they are dollar ninety nine, which which isn't bad. Now. I love nuts. When I want something to snack on, I uh, usually get nuts, but I only get my nuts for Sam. These are $12 or something. I get them at Sam a little cheaper, so I wait on the nuts. Okay, I'll settle for this size. I just like these uh, for a snack to snack on. 
these are dry roasted peanuts with sea salt. I love the assorted nuts, but I hate to pay $12 when I usually buy two big containers for the price they're charging one here. So I'll get the, the dry roast sea salt. And they are $1.79. I'm gonna make some tuna. So he, he's got the golden round. I want to try these garlic chai pita crackers with my tuna. So I'm gonna try these and I do eat these for a snack. Those are wheat then. So I get these for me. My husband loves their chicken salad, but I think Sam's have the best chicken salad. This one is $3.99. Sam's is twice its size. It's $7.99, so I guess it rounds off to be the same. And I'll probably get some uh, hummus. I love hummus. I love them. Don't eat a lot. I, I use these to dip with. I'm gonna get these to snack on in the car. These are old stamp. They are really delicious and no brine. And um, I remember having a taste of dill pickles and I drank the brine. I had um, red spots all over me, uh, bruises all over me. So I have to be careful about my pickle intake because I am taking a blood test. Okay, y'all, we got to get our brand biscuits. to uh, do our recipe. I don't see the brand, uh, brand of biscuits, so I'm just gonna get a can of biscuits so we can do our next recipe. And y'all, this is absolutely delicious. It's $5.99 a pound, and this one is $9. This is a, a turkey breast, and this is absolutely delicious. We usually get these and slice off of them instead of buying like the thin packs like this that's ham but they have the thin packs of turkey we buy this this is flavorful really really good really good so. and y'all i'm gonna do a cake with the international hershey chocolate caramel this is good if you want to do like a chocolate buttercream like icing or you can put it in your cake so i'm gonna do a cake for the holidays using this it's absolutely delicious. My husband wants some pork chop. These are thin sliced pork chop. Uh, center cut look like. I'm gonna go ahead and get these and we're gonna cook these in the air fryer. Now don't drink sodas, but sometimes I just want something to drink. So I know this splash probably have sugar in it, but what I do, I put half juice and half water because I usually use those little packages, but I don't see that they have any in here. And on uh, the packages, you know, it's like a crystal light and you can put it in your bottle of water and just shake it up. I don't feel like going to another store, so I just get one of these and dilute it. And this is uh, Berry Blend, dollar and 79 cent. Now they have plenty of the bacon items. A lot of the stores are uh, I'm filling up on the bacon items. You know, they were talking about a food shortage. So I would suggest if you're gonna do any kind of bacon, to go ahead and get your nuts, your um, chocolate, um, mini morsels, or whatever you're gonna need for your bacon, uh, cocoa. Let's go ahead and get it now and put it up for the holidays. They have good prices here. Now they have cute signs, fall signs, $9.99. They have big ones too. Apple, orchard, pumpkin, all kind of nice, Fire signs here for $9.99 at Aldi's. Okay, y'all, we're out of Aldi's and I was happy to get this off. I can't hardly stand it. And um, so we um, we spent about $63, and which that's not bad for the things that we got. And we got extra things that, uh, that you didn't see. We already have plenty of uh, groceries and meat at home, but we were out of like uh, fruits and the fruits keep me going. And uh, we got some things to make, um, items to make salad. You're hot. <laughs> you got some, we got some items to, to make salads and 
um, you saw most of the, the things that we purchased. So sixty something dollars, one bad at all. Uh, you know, like fruit and vegetables don't last long. You know, I don't really like buying the frozen vegetables, but it's some things that I will buy, like the frozen peas, the lima beans, stuff like that. But if you buy a whole lot of vegetables, if you don't eat it up, you know, in a week or so, it's going to ruin. So sometimes we go to the grocery store to buy uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, maybe once a week or once every two once every two weeks so we did our um uh shopping for uh this week and uh weekend and um that's it so you all have a, a happy wednesday thank you for going along with us uh to get some of the items that i need to stay on my journey okay enjoy the journey y'all